we have a caller, uh, and that is Drew Hehem, Arizona, uh, who says, is coming out as an atheist to religious family worth it? Hello, Drew. How are you doing? Hey, guys. How are you? I'm good. Good. How are you? Oh, okay. you, so you already said good. Sorry. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> no worries. Uh, so I, I, I have a question I would like, um, hopefully, both of your answers, but I think it's maybe more answerable by matt um, oh good then i'm going to stop and let ap answer it <laughs> <laughs> perfect uh i actually grew up in the same hometown as you i went to the same church that you did um and my family background is from what i've heard nearly identical to, to you, you were you um, were at harvester yeah yeah and they've renamed it now i don't know what it's renamed after, long after you uh, it's been several years. I, I moved to a different state, obviously, but um, yeah. Go ahead. But yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so my family seems again, like I said, uh, pretty identical so, to what you've said in the past. Um, and I, I about a year ago, um, thanks to your help, realized that I was I was believing things for just terrible reasons. Um, and I've, I've been able to share that with some close friends, um, but not my family, um, because I think it would do a lot of, like, it would just fundamentally change our relationship if not, uh, if not break it apart altogether, um, in any meaningful way, I guess. Um, so, so from your experience, I, I think similar to, to what I have with my, my parents, especially, in hindsight, is it worth it to you? Because I, I, I think I can keep it a secret my whole life if I need to. That's that, the notion of keeping it a secret your whole life is that's uh, interesting to me. What, what do you think about coming out, AP? Me? Uh, well, <laughs> of course, when you ask me, you're asking uh, an ex-Muslim who comes out as an atheist uh, to a religious family, which in my case is also true. Um, I would say uh, very often I sit down and think, man, did it really have to be this way? Because uh, relationships are really, really damaged and really harmed. But on the other hand, um, most of the time I think to myself, man, it was absolutely worth it because... I have been true to myself. I haven't uh, betrayed myself. I don't have to live in denial. I don't have to uh, convince myself that something which I know is simply not true is actually true. I don't have to pretend like I believe in uh, all these things that others around me believe in. I don't have to uh, be something that others exec expect from me. I can simply be me and think for myself and be free and make my own choices and go my own way. And in that sense, I think it's absolutely worth it, no matter the downsides, if that answers the question. <laughs> I, I will say that since you wanted my thoughts, um, my answer isn't fundamentally different from AP's. Uh, it is absolutely, it, it has been a, a good thing overall. It doesn't mean it's always been easy. Um, it is something that I would probably recommend to most people, especially if their primary concern is being uh, accepted and, and appreciated for who they are rather than who people think they are. And if that's important to you, um, you know, obviously you're the only one that can decide, but for me, it's absolutely been worth it despite the negative things. And one of the reasons I wanted AP to answer is that uh, my ex-Muslim friends go through a lot more than you and I are like, you know, what's the worst thing's going to happen to you and I drew is we're probably going to lose some friends and maybe some family members and that can hurt and i don't want to downplay that uh, but it puts us in a position where we can at least make sure that the people we surround ourselves with appreciate us for who we are rather than who they think we are yeah yeah agreed and i i almost I almost hung up because it's kind of feels like a like a whiny little bitch moment uh especially hearing from somebody like AP. oh no it's Absolutely important not. yeah and there's uh, a reason there's no, a reason yeah, why no. i saved your call for last and made sure we addressed it 
You're not being a whiny little bitch. You are looking at this going, hang on, everything I've ever known, um, all of the relationships that I have, everything is potentially in jeopardy. I don't know what's going to happen. I could just keep pretending and would it really hurt anything? That's a serious question. Um, Greta Christina wrote a book uh, on coming out uh, where she interviewed like 400 ex-Christians. Um, and I think there was out of 400, I think there was one person who actually regretted it, even though many of them had incredibly difficult experiences. So don't beat yourself up for asking the right question because you're asking it because you love people and because you care about those relationships. Those relationships are valuable to you. And it's not a trivial thing to say, you know what, screw it. I'll just start over from scratch and give up everything and lose everybody. It's, it's not an easy decision, uh, whether you're talking about Christianity or Islam. Yeah. And, and the thing is, um, honestly, Drew, uh, I don't, uh, when people, when people tell me, look, I left, uh, Christianity and I, I lost family and this and that, I don't tell them, Hey, so what? I'm an ex-Muslim. We experience worse things. No, uh, there are also other ex-Muslims who experience much worse things. I'm actually in a, in a, in a much, uh, less hard position compared to, uh, them. Uh, I, I, I acknowledge and appreciate, uh, what you experience, uh, I can never belittle and diminish that just because uh, I or some people that I know go through worse things. Your struggle uh, should be measured by what it means to you and how it impacts you, not how it not by how it compares to the struggle of others. Um, and I always appreciate you being strong and sticking up for yourself. On that note, Drew, yeah, I appreciate it. thanks. Yeah. Thanks so much. And by the way, um, I, I'll always recommend Recovering from Religion and the Secular Therapy Project if you find that you need uh, help during this. But there's also the unofficial uh, message forums and, and the ACA Discord if you need people to interact with. But by all means, whatever you decide to do, um, feel free to call us back and let us know what you decided and how it went. Uh, because one thing we absolutely know is that you are not remotely the only person in this position. And the more of us uh, who talk about the experiences that we've had, the easier it is for the rest of the people who are out there who are like us.